Something weird is going on. Welcome to the sanctuary. I'm Kyle, and I'm here to tell you, never be afraid to step into the pleasure den of the absurd. It's something weird. It's something weird. something weird is going on. Something weird is going on, that's right. Today we're going to be talking about the 1960 film by Herschel Gordon Lewis, Living Venus. Now, you may be asking, who is Herschel Gordon Lewis? This guy is Herschel Gordon Lewis. That's right, my friend, Herschel Gordon Lewis, famous and historic American filmmaker. Now, to many people, this magazine and the man who created it are really well known. They're well known all throughout the world. The magazine Playboy and the man who started it all, his name was Hugh Hefner. Now, I'm bringing all this up just to give some historical context to today's film that we're going to be talking about. Now, Playboy was not unique. This magazine here is from 1950. And there was a series of men's magazines going back to the pinups of uh, World War II. And they all featured a similar format. Lots of uh, photos of pretty models, articles about various uh, things. It was comics and cartoons and funny stuff and uh, lots of ads and things like that. All these magazines that I just showed you were from 1950 through 1959. Now today's movie is from 1960. This was the first full-length feature directed by Herschel Gordon Lewis. This story is based on Hugh Hefner and the whole men's magazine business. It stars Thomas Wood, who is a very driven, determined guy. He's working for a magazine. He decides, I got a million dollar idea. I'm going to start my own magazine because men's magazines, as I just showed you, were a plenty. And he wanted in on the business, such is the capitalist American way, isn't it? Right? Yeah, that's right indeed. So this guy ventures out to start his own magazine, and by gum he does it. He finds this lovely woman here to be his first model. He's so enamored with her. He goes and gets this photographer played by Harvey Corman. Yes, that's right. The Harvey Corman from Blazing Saddles and Carol Burnett and great comedian. But this movie is not a comedy. It's a serious drama. It's a great character-based, character-driven story of the rise and fall of Thomas Wood. Here plays the sort of, sort of uh, quote-unquote Hugh Hefner part. He goes and starts his, his magazine, and Harvey Corman's taking pictures of this woman. Eventually, this guy's greed and ego start taking over. There's a love triangle, and Harvey Corman loves this woman, and uh, she decides to go with Thomas Wood here. And then eventually things fall apart because uh, he gets a little too jealous of the uh, close relationship, friendly as it is, between uh, her and Harvey Corman, and he fires Harvey Corman. He uh, gets this egotistic um, photographer who thinks he's hot shit, very famous. But as the magazine starts to get bigger and bigger, his money man, Thomas Wood's money man, is like, hey, better be careful, you know. Things could go bad, and boy, do they, because, I mean, he ends up eventually pimping her out to advertisers. The circulation numbers are down, and it all culminates in her untimely death <laughs> right in front of everybody at a party uh, that 
he puts on when he knows good and well the ride is over. And thus, there he is, left again, alone, burned all his bridges. His money man distributor decides to talk to Harvey Corman and say, Come on, man. You were the guy that had the true talent. Let's go talk business. And he's left at her grave site, screaming, I'll, I'll start it over again as everybody walks away. 1960 starts the film directorial career of the great Herschel Gordon Lewis. My friend, the great Herschel Gordon Lewis. So, if you can, find this movie, Living Venus. It is a good one. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button, give it a like. And if you really like what we do, well, you know, subscribe to the channel, click all notifications, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hey, the more things change, the more they stay the same, am I right? Look what they were selling back in 1950. <laughs> Can't we just get some health insurance for people? And with that, again, I want to thank you for watching. Never be afraid to step into the pleasure den of the absurd.